Sports, and poor John Ellie is freezing out there in Essex County. Good morning, John. Wow. You know, Cindy, it is really windy and cold, and when you consider next week it's going to be 65 out here in West Essex, you just got to hold on if you're pining away for warm numbers. Look at the winds just whipping the flames out there. So let's show you what's going on. In the city, the skies have been bright, and then they cloud up. We've got some snow for parts of the city as well. These snow squalls will be kind of a menace as well. Park right now reporting just clouds in 32 with a west-northwest wind at 18, so it feels a lot colder than that. Yesterday, numbers were in the 20s and 30s around the area, upper 30s out on the island through Bridgeport, in and around and close to the city. Again, remember, we should be in the mid-40s. We only hit 37. So it was a frigid Friday yesterday, numbers below normal, and it felt like January. Guess what? It's going to be 37 today. So we're still shivering, and those wind chills are going to be in the 20s. Man, every now and then that wind just screams in and fills in out here. Here's the deal. That cold riding on that wicked wind is a, yeah, keeping temperatures, well, they feel like the 20s. But then just think. Midweek next week, total reversal. Wind will be delightful out of the southwest, so we'll see the mid 60s for parts of the area by midweek. For the most part, high pressure is the driving force, so it's a predominantly dry pattern. But you do have to factor in those brief snow squalls this morning, kind of a feature for the first half of the weekend. Still chilly for your day tomorrow. Sun's going to come out to play, though. It's just going to still be so cold. Any kind of wind tomorrow will keep wind chills in the 20s. And then Monday, Monday is the beginning. Monday, we start to see things turn around. 37 today feels like the teens and 20s. And then on Sunday, it's still cold. Hopefully not as windy, but numbers still stay below normal. Pair of fours Monday, and then here we go, kids. Tuesday, 58, that's great. And Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we should see numbers in the low to mid 60s, so well above normal. So here's the deal. The reality is, if you've got peeps in the store, that means spring is right around the corner. But Cindy, I know you'll get a kick out of this because today is National Oreo Day. On this day in 1912, the term Oreo was first used to describe a cookie. My dear friend Suzanne Dunahue has turned Oreos into a work of art. Look what she does with this. It's all geometry. She just carefully places them around the circumference of the jar, and then on the seams, she stacks another level of cookie after cookie after cookie after cookie, and then guess what? It's all full of cookies, too. So uh, ironically, it's also National Dentist Day, so make sure that you've got your brush and your flossing. And then good old Vince. He's loaded up on Girl Scout cookies because tomorrow is the beginning of Girl Scout week. A whole week of fun with Girl Scouts and all that great organization stands for. So we pretty much have you covered for a sugar high today. Enjoy Oreo cookie day and uh, just make sure you stay cozy and warm and sweet on this Saturday. Cindy, I did that just for you. Aww. Back to you in the studio. I was about to say, you have lots of sugar there, and I am so hungry right now. Somebody has to love something on that <laughs> table. John, thanks. All right, well, now. Well, I got to tell you. Go ahead. And I get. I get, the, I get the minis because I'm trying to like lose weight, but then you end up eating like four times as many, so it just doesn't work. <laughs> I do the same thing. John, thanks.